Recipes member Jen Hall says this recipe for French bread has a crisp, crunchy crust and slightly chewy center that makes this bread as traditional as the bread served in France. In the bowl of a stand mixer, combine two cups of all-purpose flour with two quarter ounce packages of active dry yeast. and one and a half teaspoons of salt. Attach it to the stand mixer. And attach the dough hook. Mix two cups of warm water into this dry mixture and beat the dough until all ingredients are well blended. On a low speed, beat in up to four cups of flour, about a cup at a time, until it's absorbed. Scrape down the sides with a spatula to incorporate all the flour. Do this as often as you need to. Add in as much flour as it will allow. Once the flour is absorbed, turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface. Knead it for eight to 10 minutes, adding in enough additional flour to make a stiff dough that's smooth and elastic. Shape the dough into a ball. Grease a bowl with vegetable spray and set the dough inside, turning the dough over to coat it. Cover it with a clean dish towel and set the dough in a warm place to rise. Once the dough has doubled in size, punch it down. And divide it in half. Turn the dough out on a lightly floured surface. Reshape the dough into balls. And cover them with a clean dish towel. Let them rest for another 10 minutes. While the dough is resting, grease two large baking sheets. And sprinkle them lightly with cornmeal. Now, one at a time, roll each ball out into a big rectangle. Starting at the long side of the first rectangle, roll the dough up tightly. and seal the edge by moistening it with a little water and pressing. Taper the ends. Roll the second rectangle out. Roll it up. Moisten and seal the edge. 
then taper the ends. Place the loaves seam side down on the prepared baking sheets. Then in a bowl, add one egg white to a tablespoon of water and lightly beat them together. Brush half of this egg wash over the top of each loaf and reserve the other half for later. Cover the loaves with a clean, damp dish towel and then let them rise again until they double in size, about 35 to 40 minutes. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Once the loaves have risen, make three or four quarter inch deep horizontal cuts on the top of each loaf. Bake the loaves in your preheated oven for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, brush the top of each loaf with the reserved egg and water mixture. And continue baking for an additional 15 to 20 minutes until the crust is golden and the bread tests done. Remove it to a cooling rack. One All Recipes member, Anthony Rios, rates this bread a wow. He suggests that if you want a slightly lighter loaf, use five cups of flour instead of six and add a pinch more yeast.